Hi, Andrew here and welcome to the next tutorial video. This time we're talking about dodging and burning. So a little while ago I did uh, this retouch uh, with a cosplayer called Herdassa and um, it uh, was a Death Eater that I took at the MCM Expo. So here's uh, the original image and um, so we're going to talk about um, a, a technique called, which is uh, dodging and burning and and it's something I use a lot in my composites um, as it uh, you can you can add emphasis to areas, darken areas, lighten areas and um, there's different ways of doing this um, but uh, one thing you want to do is try and edit um, non-destructively so that is not um, affecting the, the base image. In other words you, ne you need to be able to go back and change it at a later date if you want to. Uh, especially if you're doing work for clients um, where they may well come back to you with changes it's very important that you edit non-destructively. So to do this, um, what the main thing you tend to use is adjustment layers, which are layers, um, so over here, they are layers um, a, above, so, so over here, uh, here's your layer, um, and um, they are layers that go above this main layer and don't affect the um, original um, layer. So the way I do dodging and burning is to um, I use curves adjustments. Now I have this set up as an action um, in Photoshop for myself so um, it's very quick for me to do um, but I'm going to run through it step by step so you know exactly um, what I'm doing. To show you the action um, in process I have, a, I have it set to a function key so I just press it, bang, it's there and I can start editing. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how uh, that is done. So it's curves adjustment layers. So go into the adjustment panel up here, click on the curves adjustment layer, and I'm going to create two adjustment layers one for the shadows and one for the highlights. So shadows first, taking the curve and just bring it down. Um, not too far, about there is okay. And you, you know you, you don't need to do too big an adjustment because you can stack your adjustment layers. So and that darkens it down quite nicely, and that's enough. Now what you want to do is change the mask. So you can see the mask over here, and currently it's set to white, and you want that to be black. So to make it black you need to invert it and as a quick way of doing that you've got the mask selected you can see there and you just hit control I or command I and it flips it to black and it's disappeared it's not there um, and that is what you want to do and we will rename that dark so that's your darks now you need to do it again for your lights so on the curves adjustment, take the take the curve and just bring it up, not too far, about the same amount up as you did down, so about there. Hide that away. It's white again, so hit Control or Command I, and it goes to black, and it's gone. You can't see it. So this is where um, you actually begin to, to use um, the layers so what you need is a brush make sure you're on a nice soft brush like that one there and zooming in let's have a look you use the brush and you have it uh, as you're working on a, a mask um, your colors will set to black and white and you want white to be the, the color that you're painting with because you're taking away from the mask, you're painting on the mask. Now I'm going to do, start off with darks, oh, I need to rename that to light, there we go. Um, so go into the darks with your brush selected and 
you can just paint on. And it's very it's quite subtle. Um, I'm using a tablet here, Wacom Intus tablet, and um, with the pressure sensitivity, the, the brush that I'm using um, is uh, not only a soft brush, but it has the pressure sensitivity set, so um, the harder I press down, the stronger the brush is, and I can add in cheekbones there, I can darken up her lipstick here, just to make that pop a little bit. Um, just add some a bit more eye shadow going on there. Just going carefully around the eyes. Yeah. And just define her chin a little bit more. Just down there, some muscle definition going in. That kind of thing. Okay, so it's quite subtle, and you go over all the image, darkening down bits that you you know you might want to darken down, and you can do the same with the light. So go into the light, for instance, and I want to bring out her eyes a little bit there, so you can see them. Her teeth maybe a little bit, just over her cheeks there, just to bring those up. Um, muscle definition, that kind of thing. This is great for hair. This is a really great. So going back to the darks there again. Going to the darks, doing that. Um, back into the lights. And it's also great for clothes because she's wearing black. So you can't see a lot, but you might just want to bring out some of the highlights, especially on that bodice there. Quite nice. Just along some of these highlights. Just to add some shape and form. Okay. And as I said, you can actually stack these. So um, now I've got it set as an action. I'll go through doing an action in a minute. So I can stack it by pressing it again. I'll do two more. I'll press it again, I can do a couple more. And by stacking them, I can then, if I want to, lighten it even further. Really make it pop. Okay, I mean I'm I might or might not do this on this particular one, but it's useful to know that you can stack just down the leg there because I'm gonna add I would be adding some light to that, so you're going to get light hitting all the way down her leg here. That side there. Of course, on her face. And you might, although you darken the lips, just go to a really small brush and bring out the highlights on the lips there. Just make some pop. A little bit. There we go. That's quite good. Uh, same on the hair. There we go, just painting it in. And there we go. So you can see with and without. With and without just changes the lighting a little bit and um, you can do that throughout I'll probably do it on the cloak here um, you know all that kind of thing now how do you do an action actions are very easy um, so go to actions panel over here now here's all my actions there's my dark light action and I have a function key set of F2 so what I would then do to, if I wanted to create that action, okay, before you've done any of this, okay, um, you go to your action and you go new action, okay, and then you name it, you call it dark light or whatever you want to call it and you can set your function key here as well. Um, but you don't have to do that right away. 
Okay, so maybe don't do it straight away, that's up to you. And you hit record. Once you've hit record, which I'm not going to do here, once you've hit record, you then go into here and then you go through and you do that and you do your, you know, you darken it down and then you um, invert it and you rename the layer and so on. And once you've done a dark layer and a light layer, you then go back to your actions and you'll be able to hit, which I can't at the moment because I'm not recording, but that little icon just there um, is, I'll uh, just highlight it so you can see, so this one just here, that's your stop, that's your record and that's your play. So um, you hit stop and then that's it, you've done, your action is done at that point. Um, so once you've done that, um, you can play any action by going and choosing an action and pressing play, and it will run the action. But sometimes, especially if it's an action you're using a lot, such as this, which I use an awful lot, um, you might want to set a function key so it's very, very quick and easy to do. So all you do is you go to the action you want to set a function key for, click on this, action options, and there it is. And you can set uh, a function key for it. And then when you're um, doing your editing, all you need to do is tap the function key once and it does the action for you. Nice and quick and easy. So you're not having to each time rebuild that, ac that, that action effectively. And uh, that's it really. And um, with a lot of other um, uh, effects added in you eventually get to something like that and that is it okay so I hope that was of use to you um, remember there will be more videos to come so hit the subscribe button down there and uh, you'll be notified when more videos come online soon thank you for watching I'll see you soon